Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video we will learn to engrave text onto a part and that is actually really really easy to do uh, with Katia if you follow these uh, simple steps. So first I've already prepared a, prepared a block on which our text will go uh, and in order to put our text we need to create a new drawing file. We go to file, new, we search for drawing, format is not important, hit OK. Here you go for the text option and you write your text here. It's usually a good idea to make it a, a bit larger. You go to right click properties and here you can choose your font if you want. If uh, you want to keep the same one it's, uh, it's really fine. I like this one. And maybe make it bold. You then need to save this as a DXF file. You go to File, Save As. Uh, you need to maybe write the name, TXT or something, and you choose the DXF file format and click Save. You then go ahead and close this file. You don't want to save uh, the drawing. You go to File, Open, and then you search for the, your newly created DXF file open and then your text is converted into some sort of lines like this. You select everything, you hit Ctrl C or right click and copy and then you go to your part. Here you would actually need to create a sketch onto the surface and then you hit Ctrl V or paste. And somewhere here you will have your text which is basically not constrained at all. Uh, it's as a sketch and it's not constrained at all. What you want to do is uh, have it uh, relatively centered. Something like this. Something like this. You can see that at the moment it's not really the, the correct size. Uh, but I will show you how to fix that. What you want to do is to switch the workbench to generative shape, shape design. Uh, you want to search for the scale option which I forget where it was hidden here it is so here under this uh, symmetry it's stacked together with translate rotate uh, and uh, affinity and access to access you go to scaling click on scale the element you want to scale is the sketch reference it needs to be the origin point you can create a point in 0 0 0 and then now you go ahead and modify this to your heart's desire. That looks fine. Okay, keep all the sub elements. We can hide the sketch. Go back to part design. And this one you can use as a, as a base for your pad or pocket operation, whichever you want. So let's go with pad. Two millimeters seems about right. Okay. And there you go. Now you have your first engraving on a part. Congratulations. Thank you and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and like to see more tips and tricks like this one. Thank you.